What's going on, everybody? It's Clay with Piddle Defense. I'm here with Jake Wiskirchen uh, from Walk Talk America and uh, is it Zephyr? Zephyr Wallace. All right, man. Uh, so a lot of you guys know that follow me and know been in my class before. We talk a lot about mental health uh, and we do talk about Walk Talk America. Now, uh, Jake is a friend of mine. I was uh, the opportunity to sit and talk with him today. Um, why don't you give a little bit of background how you guys got started and kind of more in depth what you guys do? Yeah, uh, I am a marriage and family therapist by trade, uh, so I'm licensed in Nevada to practice mental health. Okay. And I own an operating company called Zephyr Wellness, which you mentioned earlier. Yeah. Also in uh, northern Nevada, and we do a lot of stuff. And, uh, I wear a lot of hats in the community, but uh, one of the cool things that I, I've been a podcaster for uh, several years now, and back in 2019, I learned about WTPA through a friend of mine who manages Reno Guns and Range, which is like our premier facility in town. Okay. And so I reached out and I said, you guys would be a great guest on my show. Uh, and so Mike came on to Noggin Notes and we became very good friends shortly thereafter. We realized I had a place in this community because he's a lifelong gunner and a skill carrier. Right. I wanted to be the therapist who spoke to the gun community and tried to demystify what counseling is to get gun owners into care without fear of rights restriction. Absolutely. And uh, then the flip side of that is to train up practitioners so that we're less clunky and awkward and fumbling with our language <laughs> so that when gun owners come in, we don't chase them away. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, man, I... Like I said, I think that's great. I, obviously, I met you a number of years back at uh, Train Learn 2021, 20, I think it was, yeah. Um, and I, at the time, I had I had a friend that was going through some suicidal thoughts and stuff and actually attempted suicide. So your guys' lecture at that really kind of drew me in. And since then, I've been rocking with you guys ever since. Um, so what's, what is the biggest thing that you see when it comes to, like, gun owners and, like, that they're scared of? Um, aside from the rights being taken away. Yeah, honestly, it's, it's a lot of the same stigma we see from other communities. Mm -hmm. that, you know, don't want to admit that they're struggling because it reflects poorly on them or they think that it does or they're worried about being perceived as weak or unable to care for themselves. Or maybe they're worried about just getting reported back to their man staff if they're, you know, in the law enforcement or military right. world or even just their colleagues if they're you know, plumbers and pipe fitters. Like, it's a tough kind of profession. We don't talk about that, right? Yeah. So, um, we, we, we tried really hard to make it appealing to get care. And some of the ways we do that are through our free and anonymous mental health screening. I was just talking about that. Yep. Yep. Every day is exami. Yeah. And, and honestly, like, I'm, I'm constantly giving this away, too. I'll see Me, like too. A, a gun sticker in somebody's truck or whatever. I'll be like, hey, you got that? Oh, yeah. So I'm part of this organization. You know, about the, the yep. risk management. And, you know, we try to push information in the community. We have a podcast or where that's called Guns and Mental Health. Yep. Uh, Noggin notes is another definitely check both out. check both them out and uh, and then I have a you know Zephyr Wellness has a YouTube channel and it's yep. got one guy on his feed and Zephyr has a YouTube channel yeah. <laughs> and, and one of my, my favorite things is our emotional functioning video series yes. so if you go to the Zephyr website and type in emotional functioning the videos will pop right up there's nine of them to me from the whiteboard talking about how your brain responds to the environment right. and what's important about that is if you know well what your emotions do you can take better control of your decisions but not act out of emotion and also learn to tolerate emotions you're not bottling it up stuffing it down and then having bad things happen nice so yeah the, the more we can get this stuff out in the public the more we can help people and the less the likely they are to fall into suicidal ideation or dive into a bottle whether it be or alcohol or other right you know i talk about from you know a self-defense standpoint of you know at the aftermath of a self-defense now you and i both we know we know an individual we, so that's kind of knows that i talk about um the aftermath but i i take the guns out of it sometimes you know what I'm talking to people. It's like, it, take the guns out of it. We all go through stuff in our life. We all deal with stress, um, whether it's family, whether it's marriage, whatever, whatever the case may be, we all deal with it. It's how we can control it, how we can ask questions, how can we get help? And that's one thing that I, I, I tell people all the time is like, it's okay to ask for help. Like, it, I don't care what you're going through. And um, I, I, I told um, Mike earlier, I was like, hey, you know, I actually, I've had therapists come to my class. They enjoy it. And they're like, wow, you're, they really appreciate what we do. Or what I've been doing, bringing this into my classroom for uh, space, man, it, it's been really well received. So I want to thank you for all the work you guys do, um, and for for everything. Because I mean, you guys are really out there putting it out there. Uh, like I said, I support you guys a lot because I, I feel it's just as important as you guys think it is too. So what what are what are things that we can do if somebody you know if they're not quite at that point of they get to the free screen? Like if I say hi, I have a friend that's going through something, obviously talking to them. But what can we do as um, to kind of talk them out of a crisis situation. I think the first important, the most important thing you can do is validate. And yep. validate does not mean you condone what they're doing. It doesn't mean you agree with them. It means you understand from their perspective. If you were them, 
which you can't meet, but you can try, right? Yeah. If you were them, all the decisions they make would make sense. Yeah. And so if you can meet them where they are and validate that and say, man, I get it. I understand. I, I can see how, from your perspective, this would make sense. I can see how you're in pain. I can see that you're angry. Right. I get it. Like, I get it. It makes total sense to me. If I were you, I would be feeling the same stuff. Because if you were them, you would be feeling the same stuff. Right? Exactly. And then what that does is it pulls from the limbic system, which is where our emotions are, and it drains that emotion so that you, they can return to prefrontal cortex cognitive thinking. And then you can introduce new options. Right. So, uh, this is something I borrowed from a friend of mine, Christian Conte. Uh, if you want to learn about him, C O N T E is how he spells his last name. He's got a great book called Walking Through Anger, mm -hmm. and uh, it's about his yield theory. And there's three steps listen, validate, explore options. You have to go in that order. You got to hear what they say, validate, drain the limbic system, you point here because that's where your emotional part of your brain is. Yeah. And then you can explore options, which is a cognitive exercise. Right. Uh, but a lot of times, I think what we try to start doing to people is like giving them solutions without hearing them. Right. And that just bounces off the wrong part of the brain. <laughs> right. So listen and validate, and then you can explore options. That's a great way to do it. Yeah. And one of the things, too, that I, I, I like when I met you guys, you guys talk about the cause and positive. Um, you know, I, things that I've taken away from talking to you guys and, you know, people that we know, um, that that was that's a great thing for people to do. Understand your cause and pause. Um, I know uh, you know our good friend uh, uh, Pete from Carolina Customs. He, his story is that is being shared right now is phenomenal, and I, I give the man a lot of credit for putting his story out there. Um, really powerful. It's, it's a very, very powerful message, and it, it shows the effect. If you have the right support system around you, too, it makes a big difference. Um, yeah. And I think what's important about that is we didn't need .gov to tell us. To exactly. Anything, right? We as, we as a yeah. community, we as individuals, we as human beings can look out for our fellow human beings and do the right thing without being instructed to do it with force. Right? Exactly. Exactly. So, yeah, man, I want to say, once again, I thank you. Um, where can people follow you guys and learn more about Walk Talk America? WTTA.org is the Walk and Talk America website. We currently yep. have a, a fundraiser going. It's a sweepstakes where you drop 20 bucks in and you can win some prizes. Okay, so, cool. Depending on where this is being published, I may or may not be able to disclose where the prizes are. <laughs> I Otherwise, got you. Otherwise, it'll get suppressed. But the, uh, the idea is we're a nonprofit. We make no money off of anything. Um, I, all my efforts are volunteer. Yep. I'm blessed enough to have my salary generated by my employees so I can go do fun things like this right. uh, You know, to help make her better but you know mike draws his salary from this he you know we need to support him and all, all the risk yes that you see the stickers the flyers the, everything the cost to travel to be a place like this oh it costs money and uh, we just we don't have a lot of it so if you want to chip in 20 or 40 bucks or you know some company that's willing to you know, scratch a check all that's tax i was gonna say because you're a 507c we are a 501c 501 C. yeah sorry just throw whatever numbers and letters up abc you know <laughs> dvd um <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah no, um, I appreciate the time and I appreciate the work. And I, I'm could you, we at Pivotal Defense, we will continue pushing Walk Talk America because we believe in it. Um, we believe in you guys and the message because it is powerful. It is making a difference. I feel uh, so. I want to thank you for your time and thank all the work. You, and um, yeah, be sure to give them a follow and support these guys what they're doing.